Hey guys, what is up? Nitro here and bringing you the Modern Warfare 3 version, the map breakdown series. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you people right off the start, watch this video all the way through, and I promise you that you will you'll get something from it. At least that's what I'm hoping, but I'm pretty sure you will. So do watch the whole video through from the beginning and the end, and I'm basically going to go through the map. Uh, show you around and uh, you know explain some key areas of the map and explain how you should tackle it uh, also at the end I will link you to a video where I kind of have a match and I'm gonna kind of show you how what I talk about in this breakdown kind of goes into how you should actually play the game so uh, that'll be linked at the end so that's why it's important to watch all the way through this way you could kind of see what I'm telling you what I'm trying to get you guys to learn and then go into it and actually see how it works but uh, without further ado let's begin alright so what we got here is capture the flag uh, if you take a look at where the flags are one is well a domination area the other one is at the other side of the map at the back map or C domination area pretty much both routes that you could take are both similar Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about Capture Fag in another video, but I don't exactly have the most expertise on that at the moment. Okay, so here we got Demolition. So if you look at uh, where the bomb sites are, the one is kind of in a hallway area, not a whole lot of cover. That's a spot. Uh, it's close to the back of the map, uh, pretty much overlooking the upstairs house. Uh, B Dom is on the street. Again, pretty much in an open spot, but you could probably work cover a little bit better on that flag. So, I haven't really played any demo at all, but if I were to give advice just on where the two bomb sites are located, I have a feeling that B would be a little bit easier to capture than A. But again, that's not from game experience, that's just from taking a look at it. Okay, so here we have domination. Now, A is well area, B is in the market, and C is at the back of the map. Now, uh, the way that I like to work domination is I like to make sure that I have the A and B capture points and then you can pretty much spawn trap them and see pretty easily as long as you have one person kind of watching street area uh, at least one person watching back street and then a person that's kind of in the market watching that base hallway uh, if you lose A it's really not a huge deal it's pretty easy to get back around and take it over but you do not want to have C and B because having an A spawn just gives you too much room to get from place to place whereas having the C spawn it's a lot more compact and it's a lot harder to break out of it. Okay so here we're taking a look at headquarters and as you can see uh, majority of the points are in the middle of the map uh, later on in the video I don't know what I was talking about it must be thinking about a different map but as you can see there's a uh, basically two headquarters sites that are kind of on bridge and lower market and then one that's dead center in the market uh, then you got one in that circle room and one that is in red house so again controlling the center of the map seems to be the best way to have the most success because that's where most of the HQ sites are going to be spawning okay so here we have sabotage and I haven't played any sabotage but by looking at the placement of these two bomb sites uh, it seems the team that spawns attacking B has a huge advantage in this because as I was saying earlier in the domination breakdown it's a lot easier to kind of spawn trap people back in that C spawn so it seems like uh, you have limited passages to get up into back market where that bomb site is so your team could easily hold down the flow of traffic that would be coming uh, whereas people that have to attack A would have a lot harder of a time because it's in a lot more open of an area and you could be able to protect it uh, from the bridge area as well as even from Red House so uh, definitely advantage goes to attacking B in my perspective again I could be wrong but uh, that's just my opinion uh, so here we have S&D I play a little bit of S&D but I haven't played on C-Town yet but it almost seems like it, advantage could go either way on this one uh, when you have the A bomb site you can kind of overlook that possibly from upstairs in that house because there is a window there so depending on what side the person decides to plant on uh, you could guard that easily uh, as well where you're spawning on the B side it almost seems like you'd be able to control because you're pretty close 
uh, to both site areas. Um, again, it's long hallways, so you could have people watching. Uh, it looks like B would be a lot easier to plant and A would be a lot easier to defend, but uh, again, just opinion. Haven't exactly played any on C-Town to know. Uh, so this is a heat map of a team deathmatch game that I was in. So as you can see in it, there's a lot of heavy traffic in the back hallways, back market area hallways, and again, upstairs, on the upstairs bridge and bridge area as well, kind of in back map. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to flip over here and I'm going to show you uh, the callouts that I like to use in this map. So as you can see here's an overlay of callouts that I like to use. Uh, at least might not be the professional callouts or whatever but uh, these are the ones that I enjoy using uh, to basically uh, try to explain to my team where I find people. Uh, so as you take a look there's uh, that circle circle room as I like to call it. Now it doesn't really play a huge factor but it is, there's, there is an upstairs and a downstairs to that area uh, and it is a spawn point and then there's the well area or a domination area which is self-explanatory wide open area again not a lot of heavy usage but what you want to focus on definitely on this map is a bridge and the upstairs you could call it upstairs bridge I call it upstairs bridge but I call it upstairs because there's stairs and you go up there and then also kind of in the middle where there's nothing I don't really have a call out for it because I kind of just wander around in that area as you'll see a little bit later but then you got back map and C Dom back street uh, red house greenhouse and there's a yellow house by the back market and of course the street and of course red house and greenhouse are called that because that's the color that they are same with the yellow house it's a yellow building uh, but pretty much that is it so you know refer to this if you are on an organized team and you'd like some call outs you could always look back on this and uh, share it with everybody but now we're going to get into the real breakdown uh, so i hope you guys enjoy and remember to watch all the way through this is going to be a little bit longer of a video but again if you want to learn the map I do recommend watching all the way through and then going to watch uh, the linked video at the end as well to kind of show you what I do. So, see you in the next part. Okay, so this is C-Town. Uh, this is absolutely not one of the Team Deathmatch spawns at all. I don't know why it spawned me here, but uh, we're just going to run you through C-Town really quick. Sorry, chicken. Oh, 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 you lived. Look at you playing dead or something. You're gonna die. Anyway, sorry about that. So, let's take you through Sea Town. This building right here. Woo, yeah, that's right. You hear the sirens. This is camper spot number one. Uh, campers, paradise, absolutely. <clears throat> so, entrance is to this building. You come through that door and come through that door, and that only leads to this one set of stairs. But, don't care about that. I'll be explaining kind of how that works later. But anyways, snipers like to sit up here and snipe there and there and there and down this hallway, down there. They sit out here. This is where snipers like to go and camp. Okay, second entrance is these stairs here. Third entrance is obviously this door here. Now, uh, in case you're wondering, TDM spawns in like that dome building. It's down there. I don't know why it spawned me here like free-for-all spawn or something so if you want to try to compete against little snipers that are camping in this building camper 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 what you'd want to do is come through this back market into yellow building and you're gonna want to like stay low and go behind these bags kind of take a peek see where he is run as fast as you can here get behind here dolphin diving would be fantastic for this but it's not in this game and then you'd want to like kind of come through here and then sprint down this hallway and come up these back stairs because obviously running down the middle of the street you're gonna get sniped uh, even coming through here which also can kind of work if you can get through here quickly there's usually people in that window so you got to be like careful with that but you, you might be able to get in here quick enough to do it. But I suggest the first route that I uh, told you and come up here. And then you can kind of like, bam, you know, pick off the little camper dude or camper dude that's going to be camping here. 
Obviously, coming down this way is suicide. It's wide open. There's nowhere you can hide. You can kind of hide behind this well, but um, it's not going to work well. Uh, if you want to, like, get that challenge where you have to fall 30 feet to your death, this well right here, uh, you can do it. I'm not going to do it, but you can do it. Uh, so you, like, spawn in here, usually. TDM is one of the spawns. You can kind of run through here, or you can run through the bridge and get into, like, the bridge over there but if you were to uh, run a quick route what you're gonna do is come up here and there's usually gonna be a guy trying to climb up the dumpster and get into that window or if you see anybody he'd probably be like over there ish when you're coming through there uh, if you're coming from the other way what you want to do is like kind of look through the grate because chances are there's gonna be a guy like right already here uh, one jump if you guys want to know you come through here it's not the smartest because usually people are like, yeah, I'm going to camp here and watch this window because that's what people do on this bridge is camp. They camp. This is, that's right, you hear the sirens, camper spot number two. So the ways to get here, there's a ladder on this wall that you can climb. In case you don't believe me, I'm going to show you. Climb up here. Uh, obviously, people that spawn in this building, you come on this bridge and come through here. And, of course, there's the stairs. And you can... Uh, get up here by the stairs or the dumpster you kind of jump up here I've seen people like camping up here I don't I don't know I picked that guy off easy but I've seen them up here watching whatever you could kind of come up here and sit on this building again not very useful but anyway you know about it. so it's camp spot number two yeah okay so let's carry on this little market area uh, my suggested route actually or if you're gonna just run like a circuit of places, is to stay in this area. <laughs> That's right, I'm getting you guys all messed up. Anyway, so you wanna stay in like this area. That's how I play it. SMG. Uh, my class setup for this map is usually P90 silenced with kick. Uh, secondary doesn't really matter. FMG 9's probably what you wanna run, akimbo. But you just kinda stay in this area. Keep the line of sights to a minimum. Minimum. So basically what I do is I kind of just like check out the market, check out the market, check out the market. See how that runs. Uh, you know, check this hallway, see if there's anybody run through here, see if there's anybody. Check over here. Um, this is where it stops. I go as far as like here and then I come back and around because you don't want to go in there. Again, there's probably going to be somebody sniping in that building. Camper spot number one, remember it. But uh, this is like a spawn area, so you can kind of like just run around here and hope the other team spawns sit here and take a listen for some footsteps and then kill anybody that might be coming through there and then you just run around here uh try to stay away from up there because if you're trying to kill people up there and if the other team's set up up here then chances are you're never gonna win unless your team like comes because they'll be like red for you but moving on showing the last place in this map he is up here you can kind of come up here and climb on this ladder and get in there through there so you can kind of sit on the ladder. I guess I didn't really show that too good, but you can sit on the ladder and... What the heck? I don't know. Yeah, you can shoot anybody that's like watching that window or watching over there. Then you can jump in. But, uh, ways into this building. Okay, so there's one there. There's the stairs. Which you can get through here two ways. You can come through this window or through that door. And then the third way is, of course, there's a handy dandy ladder. That is right here. In case you don't believe me, I'll show ya. Yeah, so, uh, this is, uh, Sirens, yeah. Camp spot number three. But, uh, pretty much that is Seatown. Uh, again, su suggested route is to stay in the market with an SMG. Steady aim. Because you're going to be doing a lot of hip firing. And, uh, for kill streaks, I like to go spy plane, predator missile attack helicopter on this map. Uh, most of my classes I run Pred, Attack, Heli, and Reaper, but Reapers are useless on this map because hallways are so small and it's hard to kind of feather it. Unless there's people in the market, that's like the only easy place to get a kill. Market or like back over here by well. But a lot of people are running in the streets or camping in there because again, bridge is pretty much power position of the map. There's one line, I don't know, I don't remember if I showed you this line of sight, but uh, I'm going to show you. And uh, this is the power position, so people are going to be running the streets, whatever, and it's hard to get the Predator Missile in there, but a line of sight if you want to pick off somebody, boop, 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 yeah, you just kick that 
kick that plant out of the way. You just shoot it and it just like spins, spins off. Get, get those out of the way. There you go. See that? Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, so that's uh, that's uh, pretty much a sea town in a nutshell. Showed you everything that I really know. I've seen people like camping on this bed and it like pisses me off, man. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm cool, I'm camping in a bed, yeah. Or oh yeah, I'm in this corner. You can't see me, you can't see me, knife. Yeah, that's what people do. They uh this is like my secret spot over here. Nobody like nah, yeah, call it my reapers, sit here. But uh yeah, you know. I'm gonna chill with the lamp. Oh yeah, you're dead. People like doing it. I've seen people camping in here too. It like, piss me off, man, because they like blend in with stuff. And if you want a good place to like throw your ballistic vests in here, man. yeah, give everybody a wet vest. I'm gonna shoot your plant. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, just blow, yeah, blow up. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just uh, rambling on. That's uh, the basics of Sea Town. It's a very, very simple map. But I hope this was helpful. Again, closing notes. Just a summary of everything that we went through. You gotta remember that uh, red building over here. Pow! Camper spot number one. Bridge. Camper spot number two. Power position on the map right there. And pow! Green. Camper spot number three. Be ready for those. Uh, Domination, since that's like the only other game type I've played, you know, Wing showed the little thing where you can kind of have B, A, I don't know if that's C or A, I don't know. I don't play a lot of Dom, because none of my friends like this game for some reason, so I have to play by myself. So I played TDM and Kill Confirmed, because I play Mercenary. But, uh, yeah, you can sit here and just kind of shoot people like a dick and hide in, like, darkness. But, uh, that's pretty much the only Domination tip I have. Headquarters, that can be sloppy. It's not really any camping, but all of the headquarters are on, like, that side of the map. And, um, little tip for, like, killing anybody that might be camping up here. If you want to go, like, halfway up the ladder and you have a throwing knife, just kind of, like, yeah, you can throw your throwing knife. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have a throwing knife, but you can do it. Just trust me. But uh, that is all for C-Down. So, uh, SMG, run the market. Remember the camping spots. And don't run a reaper. That's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope this was helpful. If it was, please like the video. Uh, leave a comment. And if you like my stuff, subscribe. Because I'm going to be hopefully actually finishing all the maps this time. And the game won't piss me off too much. But uh, that is all for this time. So uh, like always, peace and love, my friends. Peace and love.